Hollywood Harry returning to Halloween Horror Nights 2022 this year for his third year at the event. But who is Hollywood Harry? And where did it all begin for him? My name's Anthony from the Night's Horror, and today we are going to be talking about the history of Hollywood Harry at Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights. With Hollywood Harry, it all started with Crypt TV and Eli Roth. Eli Roth did his own Terror Tram in 2016 called Eli Roth Presents Terror Tram. And on said Terror Tram, we had an original character by the name of Hollywood Harry, a.k.a. Harold Kapowitz, a.k.a. Koodles the Clown. But it all started with Eli Roth and his idea behind Crypt TV, which had just launched that year, and it was just starting to get bigger and bigger as it goes. Crypt TV, if you guys don't know, was a fan um, built uh, short horror films and, and whatnot, but it gave the audience an, uh, an opportunity to showcase what they had in store for the future of horror. Eli Roth, the owner of Crypt TV, partnered with Halloween Horror Nights to create a brand new Terror Tram. They had a lot of great marketing for it and whatnot, but it was it was a lot of fun to see kind of like this realistic, you know, clown, you know, mixed with fiction and whatnot. It was really cool to see how they marketed the Terror Tram and whatnot because it made it look like there was a lot of people recording sightings of Hollywood Harry, which was really fascinating. That really led up to the story of Hollywood Harry and the story of the Terror Tram. But let's break down where it all began for Hollywood Harry and where it's going to end up next. Hollywood Harry is the nickname given to former actor, clown, and circus performer Harold Kapowitz, also known as Koodles the Clown. After being kicked out of Universal Studios due to the decrease in the popularity and an increase in the fear of clowns, Kapowitz retreated into the Hollywood Hills and began to formulate his revenge to get back at those people who fired him. It all started in the summer of 2016 when Universal Studios had just launched their new nighttime studio tour for the first time in the movie theme park's 50-year history that guests were allowed to experience the historical backlot after dark. That summer, a series of viral videos filmed by guests on board the Universal Studios tram tour surfaced on the internet. Almost immediately after the videos had been surfaced, the internet exploded with the wild speculation about the mysterious phantom clown. It didn't take long for his identity to be revealed. His name? Harold Kapowitz. Better known to longtime Los Angeles as Koodles the Clown. In the late 1950s, the former circus performer had hosted a local children's television show that filmed on the Universal lot. When Universal Studios Hollywood opened in 1964, Kapowitz's alter ego served as the park's unofficial mascot. But times have changed. Thanks to sensationalized news stories and unflattering depictions in the media, clowns were no longer viewed as comedic characters beloved by children. They have become the stuff of nightmares. Circus attendance had plummeted along with Kapowitz's fortunes as well. After he was no longer employed by the theme park, Kapowitz has resorted to working as an unpaid street performer outside the studio gates. A few years later, he was unceremoniously kicked off the property altogether due to his increasing erratic behavior. Banished from the studio that had been his home for over 40 years, Kapowitz disappeared into the Hollywood Hills and Koodles the Clown vanished along with him. Ever since then, he was all but forgotten by his once adoring fans. For decades, his presence in the back lot remained unnoticed despite a heavy decline in the studio's wildfire population and the occasional disappearance of a studio tour guide. But such incidents were chalked up to the dramatic changes that accompanied the expanding studio tour and the, the transcendent nature of seasonal employees. Then, in the summer of 2016, Kapowitz suddenly emerged from his long seclusion in Hollywood Harry was born. As the strange summer of 16 wore on, Hollywood Harry became more brazen, no longer content to hide in the shadows of the back lot. And as the internet speculation reached a fever pitch, some people were inspired to seek him out to find and document the Phantom Clown. But that's when the real nightmares begin. As it turns out, these so-called clown hunters found out the hard way that he was not alone. He employed dozens of other fired, disenfranchised circus performers and clowns to join him in his crusade to get back at the studio that fired him. In 2018, Hollywood Harry returned to tell his own dread time stories, Who Let the Dogs Out, Kill Billy's Inn, The Scarecrow's Revenge, Clowns on a Plane, and The Nightmares. Harold Kapowitz used to be a funny, loving, and playful clown who entertained families and children alike. However, as the world began to portray clowns in a negative light, he became very angry and resentful. His mental instability worsened when he was kicked off of Universal Studios and retreated into the Hollywood Hills and the Universal Studios backlot. 
He's now fully embraced what the world views clowns as, a monster that kidnaps children and kills people and animals. In 2018, he developed a Crypt Keeper-like personality when he introduced his Dread Time stories. Without the makeup and costume, Harold Kapowitz is a middle-aged man with dark hair. As Koodles the Clown, a.k.a. Hollywood Harry, he wears a red coat with badges on it, a yellow shirt with blue polka dots, a blue bow tie, baggy blue and red striped pants with matching suspenders, red and white polka dotted socks, laced red and white boots, a bald cap with blue tufts of hair, white makeup, and a painted red nose, lips, and eye markings. He is occasionally seen carrying balloons. So Hollywood Harry returns yet again for his third year at HHN 2022. He's taking over the Universal backlot once again. And he's doing it with some friends. He's taking some friends out of the Jordan Peele universe and bringing them into light. Specifically, the Tethered from Us are taking over Jupiter's claim. So not only is the Universal Studio Tour Terror Tram going to be a little bit longer this year, but... You're going to have to get through Hollywood Harry's friends and then dive deep into the mind of Jordan Pill and survive that. We have a lot in store for this week. Two more videos to finish off Halloween Horror Nights week, but we thought we'd give you the history of Hollywood Harry being that he's returning for the third year. With all that being said, my name is Anthony from the Nights of Horror, and I will see you in the fog. In the love.